On this episode of Epic Idaho, we go camping in North America's first dark sky reserve, bike in one of Idaho's most well-known destinations, and explore the surface of the moon, kind of. Today we're at Craters of the Moon in central Idaho in this ginormous lava tube. I'm Jonathan Conti. I'm Chad Case, and this is Epic Idaho. Idaho is, in a word, epic. And we should know, we travel the globe capturing adventure, but some of our favorite places are found right here at home in Idaho. Join us as we experience epic Idaho, from the stunning to the serene and everything in between. I've hiked all over the world, Albania, Kosovo, Montenegro, Croatia, the Galapagos Islands, Patagonia, Corsica, France, the Baja, and still my favorite place to go hiking is in the Sawtooth Mountains. We made it. So where are we? This would be Hell Roaring Lake. That would be the finger of fate. And that would be a Sawtooth Mountain Peak I am not currently uh, remembering the name of. All around us here, kind of hidden in the trees, are nice little campsites that are completely accessible and you can set up nice and easy, set up your tent, set up campfires, camp stuff. During the day, you're gonna be hot. You're gonna be hiking, but you're at 7,000 feet elevation. Temperatures can drop to 30, 40 degrees. You're gonna want warm clothing, you're gonna want a zero degree sleeping bag, maybe a beverage like coffee to keep you awake and keep you warm before the dark skies. Dark skies, clouds clear, stars are out, and this is definitely worth it. Milky Way, Sawtooth Peaks, uh, super dark sky. Mm. I gotta tell you, I'm a little rummy. Although I'm glad we stayed up. Those clouds cleared and that sky was amazing, man. It's worth staying up when you're in a dark sky reserve like this one. Yeah, what is this, like, the only dark sky reserve in the U.S.? Yeah, it's the first and only. Really? And this one's the third largest. It's 1,400 square miles in central Idaho. Dang. Today we're in the Ketchum Sun Valley area, and we have taken up mountain biking. Mountain biking is really popular here because they have so many trail systems. 400 miles in total, from beginner to intermediate to expert and you get all sorts of landscape. You can go places where you can see the city or you can go to the shady side of the trail system to the sunny side of the trail system. We chose mountain biking. You can also horseback ride here or hike. Darcy, what do you think about the trails out here? I love them. <laughs> we just rode probably like 14 miles single track. Thanks. Could ride forever. Should we head back to town? Yes, I think we deserve some food and the beverage. Food and the beverage sounds awesome. Right in the center of downtown Ketchum at the crossroads is Warfield's Distillery and Brewery. We got a peek into the craft beer and distillery operations. Then we headed up to an open air deck with gorgeous views of Bald Mountain for a mouthwatering meal. It seems like there is a purposeful um... sustainability. Yeah. Uh, the menu is a sustainable menu. We we source direct from the farmers and from the um, the cattle. Do you know why the statue is facing the direction it is? I, his house was over there. I read on my smartphone that it's because. He said he would never miss the sunrise. He's facing east, so he still gets to see the sunrise. I learned two things there. One, that he never missed the sunrise, and two, the sunrise is in the east. So he just came here and visited a lot because yeah, right. of he the great fishing, outdoors, the he hunting, liked hunting the it was remote, he liked that, and then finally when old age kinda came over him, he retired here in 59 before dying two years later in 61. Ernest Miller Hemingway, July 21, 1899, July 2nd, 1961. I thought it only appropriate we bring him some rum. Okay, yeah. Ernest, have one on us. 
Thanks for all the good books. So back in the 70s, the astronauts of Apollo 14, including Alan Shepard, came to Craters of the Moon to train for their mission. And you can totally tell because this surface feels like nothing I've ever stepped on before. You actually kind of feel weightless, as if you were walking on the moon. I'm glad for that breeze because it really feels like a volcanic landscape right now. This lava can get up to 156 degrees Fahrenheit. You mean just to touch it like that? Yep, to the touch. Craters of the Moon has a pretty intricate cave system. This is Indian Tunnel, the biggest cave here. It's about 800 feet long. It's called Indian Tunnel because Native Americans used to use it as shelter, and you can feel why. It is about 30 degrees cooler down here. What's nice about this cave is you don't need a headlamp. These collapses in the roof have created enough natural light for you and your family to come down here and have a spelunking adventure. I really do just want to lay down right here and take a load off, so I figure why not? How often is it you get to lay down in a lava tube? So obviously, Craters of the Moon has tons of trails to hike, caves to explore, but if you just want to have a quick look around, you could do this seven mile loop that just cuts all the way through and all the way around the park. Nice yeah. little day trip. Easy drive. And how many miles do you run in a day? I bet you I could beat the car around this loop. <laughs> how much? Last one to camp sets up, go! I know, uh, I really don't see why I have to do this. The bet was, last one back to camp, sets up. You were last, you set up. Did you fix me any soup? Uh, no, it'd probably be cold by the time you were done. <laughs> Smart. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Central Idaho has to be one of my favorite parts of the state. I mean, we were just in the Sawtooth Mountains, hiked into Hell Roaring Lake, just popped over the hill, went to catch him, did some mountain biking there, found out a lot about Hemingway that I never knew, and now we're in this completely different landscape, this lunar place of Craters of the Moon, and doing some dark skies. Yeah, man, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Central Idaho has so many adventures to explore, and if you want to plan your own epic Idaho adventure, go to visitidaho.org or check out the links below, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you don't miss another episode of Epic Idaho. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I think I just got buzzed by a bat. They are out here.